What's up, people? Versus Z with another Transformers review, and we're we're gonna be looking at my first uh, scalp class figure, and he is the Doctor. Um, well, in the box his name is Scalpel, but in the movie he is the Doctor of the Decepticons. He's a little crazy guy, you know, um, the one who played a big role in the Decepticon side. Uh, very crazy Doctor. Um, I would have to say he was he was you know crazy little character. He was only in there for a little bit. Uh, in the first half, I guess, but then I don't know what happened to him later on. But anyway, um, Scout Class figure. They're supposed to be really small. Um, he is actually probably the biggest Scout Class figure in there, in that line, and that's probably one of the reasons I got him. Besides, because the fa besides the fact that he was actually in the movie. So let's take a look at him real quick. Um, he's got quite a few clear pieces on him, like his arms. It's clear and also flex um, not flexible, but soft plastic. Um, but you kind of want them to be soft because of his transformation. Um, he has the clear plastic up here in his eyes. He has the clear plastic, uh, clear soft plastic up here for his antennas, which are articulate too. Um, down here though, his legs, that's not the way Hasbro wants you to transform. That's totally not. Um, like right here these parts right here they're supposed to be actually on the inside and his legs think of the um, think of those claw games with the with the stuffed animals and everything that's what his legs end up looking like with Hasbro transformation but I, I kind of didn't like it so I wanted his legs to look a little more like this so it looked more like a like a mantis overall like so but anyway um, yeah Scott Glass figure I'm not gonna spend too much time on him so let's get to his uh, review. Okay, so now we're looking at his alt mode and he's a microscope. Weird, right? And you're probably wondering, all right, who, who would be able to use this microscope? Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. But it's a really nicely articulated microscope, even though it doesn't make sense because the little thing is right here and, you know, what it's looking at. It doesn't make sense. Uh, it, it does have a few hinges that it can be um, articulated on and everything. And then it <coughs> can move up and down on this little thing. I guess it can spin too, so it's all right. You know, it's pretty cool or pretty neat at least. So yeah, not bad. Um, Transform is actually pretty easy. Slightly involved, a little slightly, but you know, for a scout class, it should be easy. So I want to start by going underneath here, bring these out, uh, bring out all his legs, his little feet. Let's bring them out. Same here. I'm gonna take what is it? This one and this one right here. The only one that can move. Lift it up so that they're aligned with the rest. And I want you to leave the legs this way. Leave the legs that way. And it tells you to lift this up. And for some reason, these things go up like that too. I guess if you want, whatever. Um, next thing you want to do. I'm going to take the top part right here, rotate it like 180, and then bring it underneath. And then there's, there's uh, where is it, where is it, right there, a little tab. It's going to hook into this little gap right here. Should lock into place. Oh, and extend it that way. Extend it as far as you can so it doesn't get in the way of anything. Then it should snap into place. Adjust any adjust everything any way you want it um, what next oh yeah take out his arms which are just right underneath there and they're just kinda just tucked under there and like I said in the beginning you want them to be flexible so because of you kinda see how like how I'm doing it it gets a little rough so you want everything to be you know easy and then you're gonna take this part right here and just kind of just part it to the side, and it tells you to tuck it, tuck it, ah, la, la, tuck it underneath right here. But I like to just leave it out to the side if it lets me. Oh, what the heck is going on? Ah, there you go. And then just leave it out there, just like that. Hmm. You kind of have to pull it out so that it, because it's a little bar in there. 
we'll just pull it out and leave it out to the side like that and you can already see his head so just bring it forward I guess yeah just do whatever you want with it or whatever bring his antennas forward or wherever you want them um, should be it really <laughs> nothing else oh his leg of course uh, just adjust his feet on uh, right here on the bottom. Uh, be really careful though, because um, his legs right here and everything, it's like brittle plastic for some reason. I don't know why they went and did that and just didn't just like go ahead and do solid plastic. They had to get like the brittlest plastic ever. So I don't, I don't know what happened there. I guess they got too cheap. Maybe because it's just a scalp class and they didn't care. I don't know. I don't care. Um, yeah, just adjust his feet. Pretty much I'm done, so I'm just, I'm just getting to a point where I'm adjusting his feet. Um, he's a neat little toy, I'd say. Neat little guy. Um, he actually stands pretty tall, you know, for a Scout Class figure. If you guys have seen Scout Class figures before, I'm sure you have. Um, they're, these, they're supposed to be these really cheap, affordable, and small action figures. Um, and they're no taller than like four or five inches. This guy though, he's tall. He's friggin' tall. He's he's actually taller than Soundwave. If you stretch him out, well, even if you don't stretch him out, he's already taller than Soundwave head height. Um, he's you know even more so taller than the twins gives him mud flap. So you know he's not bad. You guys can you guys probably already could tell where the articulation was right here in the legs. Ball joint there, ball joint there. His arms are on ball joints. They're on the hinge right here on his elbows. Um, you have a whole bunch of these hinges right here on his on his back, so you can get him in any kind of like directional pose. His head is movable too. Little mouth thing kind of moves along with the neck, or you can move it together with the head. Totally up to you. So yeah, he's actually you know for a scout class, he he's pretty poseable. He ain't too bad of a figure. He's a nice, nice neat insect insect very insect looking figure um, I mean if you were into the character at all then I guess you know this is your only choice right here obviously um, you know I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that I, would, I mean no, actually I do recommend that you pick him up because he's actually pretty fun but I wouldn't you know put him as a priority if you if you do find him though as a scout class figure so far I've heard nothing but good news about him except you just gotta be sure to be careful when you articulate his legs because like I said earlier they are very brittle um, but otherwise you know for a scout class figure you know seven eight nine bucks he ain't too bad at all he's actually really nice so yeah that's pretty much what I can say about him very nice pick him up if you'd like him um, yeah I definitely recommend him he's pretty fun nice little guy you can carry around whenever freak someone out you know scare your girlfriend when they're unexpected or whatever. I don't know, you know, it's pretty useful. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.